So the Shaykh, he says that Islam, it warns against this. It warns against deception. It warns against cheating. He said, Allah Ta'ala says, وَلَا يَحِقُ الْمَكْرُ إِلَّا بِأَهْلِهِ Allah Akbar. Allah Ta'ala, he says, and the evil plot encompasses only him who makes it. So who's the one who get hurt by the evil plot? The plotter. Who's the one who is harmed by the evil plot in reality? The one who plotted. You see, people plot and they think, yeah, I'm going to get one over. And you just hurt yourself. You just hurt yourself. Because whatever you take from your brother in, the, in, in this dunya, he going to get it back. Yomul Qiyamah. So now who get played? Played yourself. Right? This is the reality. So the plot, it only hurts the one who plotted. Because the one who got over on, somebody got over on them in the dunya. Somebody cheated them in the dunya. They deceived them in the dunya. They harmed them in the dunya. Took some of their rights in the dunya. Well, the dunya is the dunya. It come and it go. Okay? Yomul Qiyamah. When you see Yomul Qiyamah, you're there, you're sweating. You're nervous. You're scared. You're looking for any deed you can possibly get in your favor and now here comes a person that done cheated you out of all this money person that done punched you in your mouth your eyeball and everything and now you're like I got some more now give me mine so if that so if you on the recipient if you on the, on the end of getting cheated or, or harmed in any manner did you really get hurt if you're going to get your hock back your mom piano on the day you really need it no, you're not, because with that, your eye, it'll, it, the swelling will go down, it'll go away, right? The money, alhamdulillah, it's gone, no problem. You move on, you still continue living, correct? Worshiping Allah and the like. But now you're more qiyamah, where well, you need extra deeds now, the person owe you. If you don't got any good deeds to offer, then what happens? He take your bad deeds, right? So who really got played? The one who plotted. The one who deceived, the deceiver. So don't think you're going to get over if you deceive your brother. You're only hurting yourself. So the Shaykh he says, فَمَنْ ابْتَلَى بِشَيْءٍ مِنْ الْمَكْرِ فَعَلَيْهِ بِالصَّبْرِ وَلِيَعْلَمَ أَنَّ الْعَاقِبَ لِمَنْ اتَّقِدْ لَهِ He said, so whoever gets afflicted with something and he's the recipient of someone's evil deception and plot that he must be patient and know that the final affair belongs to the one who fears Allah the final affair belongs to the one who fears Allah he said just like that what happened to Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam just like that what happened to Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam you remember when the women plotted against him and invented the lie and he was thrown inside of jail for many years and the like naam the shaykh he says wa ma kana minhu illa an sabara wa kana aqiba lah he said and it was nothing for yusuf to do except be patient what did yusuf do he was just patient he was patient even when he had a chance to cut into them after he gave the tafsir of the dream right after he explained the dream interpreted the dream and like even when, 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 when the king is telling, okay, he can get out, I'm going to bring him to me, so on and so forth. What do Yusuf say? He said, ask him about the one who cut their hands. Right? Ask him about the one who cut their hands. When the one who launched the crime against him was who? Was the wife. Correct? He didn't say, this is my opportunity now. And your wife did me wrong, X, Y, and Z, da, 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 da. He didn't say all that. He said, ask about the ones who cut their hands. And, and then he did what? He patiently sat in jail longer. Correct? But he was patient. He was patient. And the end of the affair was for who? Was for Yusuf, alayhi salatu salam. Now, was for Yusuf, alayhi salatu salam. The truth came out. Yusuf didn't have to tell it. The woman who cut their hands, they spoke in his defense. And then, and then, and then the Aziza, she knew that her, the game was up. The wife of the Aziz, she knew what, her game was up. So then she what? She confessed. And Yusuf was what? Was vindicated and 
Allahu Akbar. The end of the affair was for him. The Shaykh he says, yani remember this now. The Shaykh he says, so whoever is tested with something from the evil plots, then it's upon him to be patient and to know that the end of the affair will be for the one who fears Allah, for the one who has taqwa. And that verily, the evil plot of the plotters, it only returns on them. The evil plot, it only returns on them. And this is the sunnah of Allah. And the shaykh, he says, وَلَن تَجِلْ لِسُنَّةِ اللَّهِ تَبَدِيلَ And you will not find Allah's sunnah changing. This is Allah's sunnah. He gave you an example from the life of Yusuf, alayhi salatu salam. Give you another example from the life of one of the great scholars, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah ta'ala. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. Does anyone know where he died? He died in prison. Right? He died incarcerated. Does anyone know who was the reason that he got incarcerated? Was what? Was his enemies from the Mubtadi'ah. Right? His enemies from the people of innovation, they're the ones who said what they said and got him falsely imprisoned. Correct? I remember once there was a very troubling time in, in, in Misr. You had a lot of the Mubtadi'ah, they were acting like they were any from the Sunnah. Right? And then their affair was becoming known. Right? The likes of like Muhammad Hassan, Abu Ishaq al Hawaini. Uh, Usam al Qusi, Naam Abd al Zim al Badawi, and the like. Naam, the reality became known that these people are not really Salafi. Okay? And so what happened was then their followers start to what? They start to abuse people who are really upon the Sunnah, verbally and the like. Okay? So I remember one of the, the Mashaykh, he gave advice, he said, just, just be patient. Don't worry about what they're saying, don't worry about the bad things they say about you. And all that. Don't worry about that stuff. And then he then he reminded me of this of this of this thing. He said, Sheikh al Islam in Taymiyyah, he was he was put in prison. He was in prison because of his enemies, right? I said, nah. He said, and he died in prison, correct? I said, nah. He said, so it would have seemed as if his enemies won, right? I said, well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it would have seemed like that. He said, but we know they didn't win, did they? I said, no. He said, and what is from the proofs that they didn't win? He said, name me one of his enemies. Tell me his name. I said, I don't know any of his names. He said, show me the works of any of his enemies. I said, I don't know their names, nor their works. He said, but everyone knows Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. And his works are continuing to benefit the Muslims. And as long as his works benefit the Muslims, and he's what? He's getting good deeds. Now think of how long he died. That's hundreds of years ago. He's still getting good deeds. And as long as his works are here, he will get good deeds. So who did Allah give the victory to? Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. And who were those who were who humiliated and cut off? The people who fought against the Sunnah. Now, so when these things happen, just be patient. Because the end of the affair is for those who fear Allah. ونكتفي بهذا القدر وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين